Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Queen Elizabeth and other royals are known for staying quiet amidst scandals concerning their family. Royals are generally not expected to speak to the press, so fans are always dying to know what Queen Elizabeth is thinking whenever something big happens. The royal family was hit with the Mexic drama last month, in which Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry announced they no longer want to be senior royals. While Queen Elizabeth did speak up here and there about her feelings, she has largely remained quiet. However, for those who have a keen eye, there are reasons to believe that Her Majesty might have quietly shown support for Meghan and Prince Harry in a subtle way. It was initially believed Queen Elizabeth was upset at Megxit. After Meghan and Prince Harry released the announcement that declared their intentions to step back from the royal family, many onlookers were extremely curious about how other royals reacted to such news. It was said that Prince William was blindsided and hurt by the sudden announcement from his younger brother. Some news outlets also reported that Queen Elizabeth was upset as well. Prince Andrew has been comforting Her Majesty through this trying time, with an insider saying, Andrew has been talking to her constantly on the phone and has now gone up to stay with her for a few days. He sees a lot of the Queen at Windsor, probably more than any other royal, and he is her rock at the moment. Queen Elizabeth released a statement supporting Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Instead of feeding these reports further, Queen Elizabeth decided to a statement to show her support for Meghan and Prince Harry. My family and I are entirely supportive of Harry and Meghan's desire to create a new life as a young family, she said. Although we would have preferred them to remain full-time working members of the royal family, we respect and understand their wish to live a more independent life as a family while remaining a valued part of my family. A few days later, she also released another statement. This time, Her Majesty showed that she understood why they wanted to step back from their current royal role. I recognize the challenges they have experienced as a result of intense scrutiny over the last two years and support their wish for a more independent life, Queen Elizabeth said. I want to thank them for all their dedicated work across this country, the Commonwealth and beyond, and am particularly proud of how Meghan has so quickly become one of the family. It is my whole family's hope that today's agreement allows them to start building a happy and peaceful new life. Queen Elizabeth recently showed more support with something subtle. It seems that the statements are just some of the many ways Queen Elizabeth will be showing support from Meghan and Prince Harry from here on out. She recently opted for what looked to be a more subtle way of giving the couple her blessing. At a church service in early February, Her Majesty was seen wearing her Canadian sapphire brooch, which was given to her in 2017 by David Johnson, the former Governor General of Canada. The occasion marked Queen Elizabeth's 65th year as a monarch as well as Canada's 150th anniversary of the Confederation. This brooch is interpreted by fans as a supporting statement for Meghan and Prince Harry because the couple has been spending a lot of time in Canada. They stayed there during their Christmas vacation and they have also been setting up a home in Canada following their departure from the royal family. Another analysis. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry might have left Archie with Doria Raglan during their visit to the U.S., though they took the world by surprise when they announced their exit from the British royal family. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry, have been living a very low-key life since then. Though the duo is figuring out the next steps for their new lives outside of the royal family, they've mostly been enjoying a stress-free life away from the spotlight. After enduring the intense scrutiny of the British press and public, the Sussexes decided it would be best to step down as working royals to become financially independent. Since resigning, they've been enjoying time spent as a family on Vancouver Island in Canada. Still, 
the pair have to begin bringing in money to sustain themselves, which has led them to a couple of destinations across the United States in the past couple of weeks. It looks like the Duchess's mom, Doria Ragland, may have even stepped in to watch nine-month-old Archie Harrison while the Sussexes were working. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are carving out a new life for themselves. Though Megxit is a new experience for both the Duke and Duchess, they are both firmly committed to their new lives and to one another. The royal couple who call each other, M and H, are only stronger since their shocking exit. They are besotted and very sweet with each other, an insider explained. Vancouver Island also seems to be the perfect fit for the Sussexes. They both love to be outside and have been loving it there, a source revealed to LMT Channel. When they're not doing yoga or eating in, Harry will pick up sandwiches at a local spot, and Meghan walks her beloved rescue beagle guy and the couple's adopted Labrador. They go for long walks, they do yoga, and Meghan cooks. They are real home buddies who love to chill out with Archie and the dogs. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's main priority is Archie. Still, the main reason why the Sussexes decided to retreat from royal life was that they desperately wanted Archie to have a normal life. Archie is the priority, an insider explained to LMT Channel. It's very much still about taking care of him and putting the family first. He's a happy kid he loves to laugh. Archie and Harry had such a good time together. And Megan is a great mom. She's very much about tending to him. They are trying to live their life as regular parents. Despite their ploy for normalcy, the Sussexes are required to get out of their bubble and make a living. Megan Markle's mom, Doria Ragland, may have stepped in to help. From speaking engagements in Miami, to getting their charity foundation off the ground at Stanford University, Markle and Prince Harry have been on the move lately. It appears that the Duchess's mom, Doria Ragland, has stepped in to help. When Markle returned to Canada on her own, after Mexit was announced, Ragland flew to be by her daughter and grandson's side. Meghan had friends and her mom around, while Harry remained in England, an insider told LMT Channel. She definitely gets a lot of her strength from her mother. Though Archie was not with his parents when they landed in Canada on Valentine's Day, he may be with his grandmother. Daria will no doubt appreciate time with baby Archie, and the couple may have left him in her care while they attended to business in the U.S. Stanford is a one hour and 20 minutes from Los Angeles and about four hours from Vancouver Island, where the couple are staying in Canada. They may have left little Archie with Doria in Los Angeles before flying to Miami, then returned to Los Angeles before heading up to Stanford. From what we understand, Ragland adores her grandson. In other news, Prince Harry's upcoming series on mental health has involved visits to UK-based hospitals and treatment centers, a charity has confirmed. Prince Harry, a former soldier, says, There have been images I have been unfortunate to see. There are images that I've been lucky enough not to see, but there's been images that I've been unfortunate to see. Nothing like some of these guys. But yes, there is a percentage of, of, of me being able to relate to exactly what they, what they go through. Um, I, I luckily never had a friend of mine in front of me or behind me blown up. Um, I can't imagine what that's like for someone because not only is it shocking for, for them, but it's the, one of the most powerful things is this guilt. And the majority of guys that suffer from psychological injuries, the invisible injuries, have absolutely nothing wrong with them apart from all up here. And that's very hard for people to accept, but it's also, it's like, it, those are the people that have witnessed the, 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 uh, the injuries around them and, and they've been the lucky ones. But there's a lot of guilt and there's a lot of blame and I think that's, that's a huge part that the guys need, need to get over, that there is nothing, there's nothing wrong with, with, those, with those slideshow of images. You can, you, you can either be, you can be fixed, but if you talk about it, you find coping mechanisms. And as long as you can find coping mechanisms in, in your day-to-day -day life, 
then, then the stigma surrounding it and the ability to be able to talk about it makes such a difference and that I can say for certain. Combat stress, which helps military veterans struggling with anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder and other issues, said it had been involving in filming for the series with Oprah Winfrey to be broadcast on Apple TV later this year. Meghan Markle is also thought to have been involved with the production. A spokesperson for Combat Stress confirmed the charity had been involved in filming and said that visits to UK-based hospitals and health centers have taken place. The charity's patron is Harry's father, Prince Charles. The Prince of Wales is following in his son's footsteps as he launched a charity appeal to raise $13 million to support the rising demand for veterans is needing mental health support. I just want to say how very glad uh, I am to, to be with you all this evening in order to recognize the uh, remarkable contribution made by combat stress over the past 100 years. When I was uh, asked to become patron of this charity over 16 years ago, I was immensely proud to follow in the footsteps of my uh, beloved grandmother, although I doubt very much whether I will manage to match her 60 years of patronage. But like my grandmother, however, I recognize just how important a service combat stress provides for our veteran community. Thousands of servicemen returned from the First World War suffering from a condition which was then termed shell shock, but what we now know as post-traumatic stress disorder. The founders of Combat Stress, then known as the Ex-Servicemen's Welfare Society, took the initiative in May 1919, believing that rehabilitation programs could help veterans to address their mental health issues. For many who served in Iraq and Afghanistan, the effects have been just as profound. 17% of those in a combat role reported symptoms of PTSD, which is an extraordinarily high proportion, even compared with former campaigns. So, ladies and gentlemen, this evening is not so much about recognizing the achievements of the past as highlighting the challenges of the future. Indeed, the demands on combat stress continue to grow. The number of veterans seeking help has doubled over the last 10 years. Right now, combat stress has more demand for its services than it can meet. And that is why we're here today. The mission of combat stress is to be there for every veteran who seeks their help so that they can get the right care at the right time and in the right place. And ladies and gentlemen, it simply remains for me to thank you all very much indeed for coming here this evening and to say that I sincerely hope you will join us in our mission positively to change the lives of those veterans who have given so much <coughs> but who so badly need our help. It helped launch Heads Together, a campaign to tackle stigma and change the conversation around mental health and contact which aims to help members of the armed forces access mental health and support. The Duke and Duchess also attended the launch of mental health charity Shout last year, backed by the Royal Foundation among others. Prince Harry and Meghan revealed their plan to split from the Royal Foundation and establish their own foundation in June 2019, six months before they decided to step back from the Royal family. Radical Media, which was appointed to make Prince Harry's upcoming series, has offices in London, Los Angeles, New York, Berlin, and Shanghai. Prince Harry announced he was involved with making the series in April last year. The dynamic multi-part documentary series will focus on both mental illness and mental wellness, inspiring viewers to have an honest conversation about the challenges each of us faces and how to equip ourselves with the tools to not simply survive, but to thrive, a statement on Sussex Royal Instagram account says. 
This commitment builds on the dupe of Sussex's long-standing work on issues and initiatives regarding mental health, where he has candidly shared personal experience experience and advocated for those who silently suffer, empowering them to get the help and support they deserve. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.